Home groups, welcome to session seven in our study renew. Uh, we find ourselves in Galatians 5, 22 through 33, the fruit of the spirit. Because we're talking about spiritual vitality, I tell you what, it's really important in the church to have some life. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I'm talking about spiritual life. That might be a picture of uh, the energy of the church. It might be a picture of the fruit of the spirit like joy or peace. Uh, but whatever that is, you know, it, it should inform the way we have relationship. It should inform the way we worship. Yeah. You know, spiritual vitality is critical to the lifeblood of the church. Uh, in this study, we want to look at why it's so important and how we grow in that. So, so when it comes to like the fruit of the spirit, how do we grow to, to live that out? Right. Yeah. And there's the temptation. We can jump into this mode of thinking about, well, I'm going to do more yeah. of something yeah. rather than just being abiding in Christ yes. and uh, allowing him to grow that fruit. You know, it's fun to hear visitors speak about their home group experiences or even just the worship experiences where they're saying, I felt very welcomed here. And that is an a work of God. We can't even create that except in some false type of, uh, you know, presentation that, but when somebody sees sincere vitality and uh, spiritual life, it's a work that God has been doing and brings about in our lives. I'm, I think it's a very relevant topic for us to talk about. We need personal vitality in our spiritual life as well as our congregational life. Yeah. This is such an important study for our church because uh, the spiritual life and vitality of our church obviously matters. And I think these questions are going to challenge you both as a home group, of course, as an individual, uh, to ask the question yourself, do I have um, this in my life? And what does it look like to other people? Hope you are challenged and enjoy uh, this study together.